we have the legs are loose and the joints that go into the leg frame assembly and you can see and you can see down here they don't appear to be attached to the table with a little pin doll or anything and everything appears loose but I can't get them out I would think this whole I would think this whole leg assembly would sliding would come off in this direction. I've unscrewed the three screws that hold it to the table underside of the tabletop. But something is holding it. And I'm just not sure what it is right now. So I'm gonna loosen all the screws that hold this assembly on. And this assembly is the corner attachment for the two fixed legs and also mounts the wooden hinges for the two gate legs that swing out and see if by loosening that I'm able to get enough release that I can get this leg assembly off and then be able to re-glue these legs. As you can see the legs are held in with mortise and tenon joinery. And if I just clean those out and re-glue them, that'll stiffen everything back up. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, by loosening the uh, vertical, the longer uh, leg frame assembly piece, I was able to get enough play to wiggle this out. And where it was hanging up, was uh, it was very tight fit at the mortise and tenon joint right down here at the bottom. So now, we should be able to get this out on this side and go around the table and do the same to all four legs. And then get them cleaned out and re-glued and put back together so the, the corner legs, the fixed legs, remain nice and stiff. So I'll bring you back. Well, this explains why they were so difficult to get out. They're small nails that are driven into the joint through the glue block. What a pain in the neck. All right, let me see if I can get these nails out of here. Here's the leg assembly clamped up in the vise. And you can see the glue block has two nails through it. And I don't know if these are the same nails that are protruding into the mortise and we're holding the, the tenon in, or if these nails hold the glue block down and these nails are underneath it. So I'm gonna try to pull these out and see if I can get them out through here. And this is exactly what we're up against. These screws, I'm sorry, these nails have been pounded through the glue block all the way through the mortise and tenon joint. I really don't want to take these glue blocks off and they're held in with this screw. So I'm going to try our nail. I'm going to try to work this nail back this way and if I can't get it, I'm just going to cut it off flush and leave it in there and leave this uh, mortise nice and clear. After disassembling the other leg, I'm now certain that the nails that are holding this joint together are driven through the glue block. They're set down into the glue block and I can't dig them out. So what I'm going to try to do is use a heat gun and loosen the glue and get in behind the glue block with a scraper and then try to wiggle the glue block this way and see if I can loosen those nails and get them out of there. Um, if we can't, we can always do what we did on this side and just force that open and push the nails out. But I really don't want to do that. I don't want to run the risk of cracking that leg. Uh, the damage to the other leg was minimal and I was able to get it back together uh, using super glue. Okay, that idea was uh, what we needed. You can see I was able to get the glue melted and pull the glue block off the nails. So now I've got a clean shot of pulling these nails out 
without damaging this leg. This is what we want to, we, we need to preserve. We, we want to protect this, the best, this, this leg the best we can. So we'll get this glue block off and then we'll pull those nails out and that joint should look at that. We even got the nail with that. So that was the, uh, that was the solution. That's a good fix. All right, let me pull that nail out and we'll get that leg off. Jeez. And as we feared, there's two nails that were put in before the glue block was put in. Son of a... Well, that absolutely shows that this is a factory sub-assembly. We're going to have to dig those out. If we, ga if we gouge these legs up underneath the glue block, so be it. But they're going to have to get dug out. And we run the risk of splitting the leg. So let me get on that. Okay, I was unable to grab that nail with anything while it was uh, buried in the woods. So what I did is I took this little carving chisel and I carved out a circular area around this. Now remember, this is going to be covered back up with a glue block. And then with my smallest pair of pullers, and I annoyed my hands in the way, I was able to get a grip on this nail. And pull it out. And there it is. So we've got one more to do. And then we've got three more legs that we're going to have to do this to. So now we know how to do this. We're going to, we're going to use the, the heat gun to get the glue block off. And then we're going to have to carve a little circle around the head of the brad and then pull it out with the nippers and then we'll be able to get the leg free. So let me get to it and I'll bring you back. As is often the case, the first one takes an hour, the second one takes a half hour, and after that they're five minutes apiece. Using the hot uh, the heat gun, I got the uh, blocks off. As you can see, there's two brads hold that held the block on that fasten into this joint here and then, I'm sorry, into this joint. And then you can see under the glue buried are two brads just like we dug out on the other side that hold that joint in. And it's the same deal on all four corners. The legs were loose, but you can't get them out to re-glue them until you deal with these, these nails. I've got the other side also ready to go. So let me get to pulling some nails and we'll get these legs apart, clean them up, re-glue them, reinstall the aprons, screw everything down and clamp it up and let it set and we'll get these legs nice and tight before we even start to think about refinishing this piece. And we've got it all apart and it's just as we expected. It was just like the other side. There were two nails into every one of these mortise and tenon joints. You can see the holes. We're able to get the nails out uh, on the legs to get to the nails that were underneath the glue blocks using a little carving knife. I had to carve out a circular area that will be covered by the glue blocks uh, I'll probably fill those in addition to covering them with the glue blocks just because that's the way I am but that takes care of that and the legs slide right into these mortises like so and that's how they're assembled so what I'm going to do now is clean up uh, from the tool part of this and then get these joints all scraped out, scraped out of glue, and glue these, glue these uh, legs back on. And with the table turned around, you see that we've got a uh, similar problem with one of the legs on the gate leg assembly. It needs to be re-glued. You can see how this assembly works. It has a wooden uh, wooden hinge that's uh, mounted onto the table. 
So when you want to extend the leaves, you swing out both of the gate legs. So the leg and the table has a total of eight legs with the leaf extended. And we'll clean this one up and glue it back on as well. And as I've got access to these hinges, I'm tightening the screws. And the first one that I went to tighten is stripped. It's spinning in the hole. I'm not sure if I've ever showed you guys this fix before, but you just take a toothpick. You can use a piece of veneer if you want as well. And put some glue on it. Stick it in the hole. And it'll break off flush. Just break it right off with your finger. And then run the screw back in. And all will be well. And you can see this is already going in nice and tight. Voila, there you go. I've got the two end leg assemblies glued and clamped up. We'll let those sit up and get hard before we reinstall them. And then the gate leg is glued independent. The reason I did it this way instead of all together is the gate leg would have precluded me using the kind of clamping plan that I want to when I put the end pieces on. So I decided to glue that on independently and then while I was waiting, turn you back around here, to do these end leg assemblies by themselves. So we're kind of on hold for a little while here. As you can see those joints pull together nice and tight on, on all of them. So we're on hold for a little while. We'll let that glue set up. We'll come back and we'll glue the assemblies onto the table and then uh, make sure that we've got them so the legs aren't, aren't rocking. So I will bring you back. Okay, the leg assemblies are on. We've got the pipe clamps on. Clamping up the new joint long ways. We still have one clamp on taking care of the cross, the cross ways. And of course the big issue with this clamping plan is, hopefully you can see with the light under there, the long pipe clamp has to go under the gate leg, I'm sorry, underneath the leaf, which means the gate leg has to be folded up, which means the leaf has to be supported. I got it supported on this side by the uh, stool can and scraps of wood and over here it's on the hydraulic table. So we've got this all glued up in, in all four directions. Everything is flat on the floor. The table doesn't rock. Everything looks to be good. So we're just going to let that set overnight and then we'll go from there. This is your first view of the top of the table. As you can see it's all clear walnut. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful table. The, the finish is shot and we're going to have to get that off and, and, and do something with it. The, the middle piece you can see it's a completely different color than the edges. It must have been stored with the leaves down with the sun beating down on it because this is, this is almost black and, and this is much more red. But that's down the road. But right now the construction issues which was crippling this project have been resolved. So we're going to call that for this video. Maybe I'll film the uh, refinishing of this table. Maybe not. It's not that big a deal. But anyways, thanks for watching. From our shop just outside Kennesaw, here in North Georgia. Best regards. Take care. See you next video. Bye.